Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tommy.Crypto and today I will give you, because of the huge demand and a lot of requests from my audience, a base step-by-step -step guide, how to get started for base and most important, how to find coins on base because it's totally different than Solana or many other change because here the rug, the scam rate is super, super high. You have to be super careful. I will give you everything so you are prepared for trading on base. Let's fucking go and enjoy the video. Yeah, first of all, I'm here on um, bridge.base.org. I will make it down a little bit. You can see this here. Yeah, here on the top, this is the website you have to use. There you can bridge um, Ethereum into base. I would always recommend to use a MetaMask wallet. Um, it's pretty simple. You open your MetaMask wallet, connect it here with this side, and then you will see appearing here your Ethereum because not every exchange sending directly to the base chain. What we're going to use for trading on base, exactly always the same one, Photon. Photon has also a base version. It's absolutely working well. It's nice. It's easy. It's smooth. And um, you can also use different tools. But of course, I would always recommend Photon. It's it's really working well. And to get your money onto Photon, yeah, you need some help. It's not like you tr transfer your Ethereum. You have to be careful or your funds get lost. So you have to bridge it. There are different ways to bridge. You can bridge in MetaMask. You can also bridge on the side, which I think is pretty easy. You connect your wallet, your MetaMask wallet here. Then the amount of Ethereum you have on your wallet will appear. And then you have the uh, possibility to, yeah, you can see here, connect wallet, then the Ethereum will come, then you can click bridge, and then you will see this money will be there on base. Yeah. And then from your MetaMask wallet, you can send your money easy to Photon. Um, you go to transfer funds, or funds, sorry. And then it will show here the wallet address. And then it will show here the wallet address where you can send the money. And um, yeah, with a small amount of fee, um, you will see the money receiving here, which is absolutely nice. Um, it's super easy, super uncomplicated. And then here, if your money on photo, there are many videos about this also. Think twice, look twice, always send to the Photon, uh, to the base network and not to the Ethereum network because otherwise your funds get lost. This is the way I did it here, bridge.base.org. I will put the links in the description. Um, yeah, and this is the way to bridge it. Um, I use the MetaMask wallet, but there are different other ways. From Coinbase, you can send it, for example, directly to base. But for me, most important is once we have our funds here, you see 0 0.19 I have here now, on Photon for trading. Um, yeah, how to find the right coin. And it looks like here, oh, there's many coins out there. They look all interesting. Um, but stop. Trading on on uh, on base might be really rugby for you. You might lose all your funds by thinking this chart is going to be good. Um, and I will explain you why, because it's totally different. On Solana, people have to burn the liquidity um, or yeah, they're mostly burning their liquidity. The contract is automatically re-announced. And um, yeah, it's basically a safe trade. I don't want to use the word safe, but it's a good trade because, you know, they cannot um, hack your or they cannot take the liquidity out. But they can maybe snipe in the whole project and dump on you. That's that's one thing with Solana. But here in Ethereum is a little bit different. We open another first project here. By the way, um, I used the filters here, audit results passed and liquidity added, $4,000 minimum. Um, we have here, you see there's not much coins created. The action is not as crazy as Solana, like every second a new coin, which is really easy and relaxing. So you can focus on what projects are coming. You can step-by-step -step search for the good ones. Okay, we open one here. Of course, always open a new tab. One thing you see here, I feel suspicious. This chart looks strange. Go up, big sell. Go up, big sell. It looks strange. It looks strange. But um, when you trust to this here, uh, contract verified, contract renounced, locked, it looks pretty safe. But warning, stop. We don't buy like this, not like on Solana. Um, here's totally different business. We have to use the contract address. And first we go to screener and check if there's some information about the project out there. That's really important. Is there some socials updated? How is this here? I, I, I'm always using this here. This is really important. What is the opinion about the people? Before I'm going to um, look deeper into a coin, I have to look at this. 
you see four red flags and no positive. That's strange. Then we go to Go Plus Security. This is the first security check. And I say open source, no. So there's always a red flag coming for this coin. The next step I'm doing for a coin is then token sniffer. And um, you're going to paste the contract address in tokensniffer.com. You enter it, paper grog, and you see evidence of serial scammer warning this token is flagged as a bug, hack, or scam. Hands away from this coin. Yeah, this is what you need to do when you trade on Ethereum. This is what every Ethereum trader has to do. And the same thing with base. And I think a lot of people losing money going to base because they feel like, oh, base, everything goes up. We have to go to base and buying any coin and then cannot sell. Um, huge issue. That's why I make this video to warn you. You have to be super careful on base. Next one. Um, you can see they have all nice liquidity, uh, 73,000. They have 500K market cap. They have a 500K trading volume. It looks all sweet. looks all sexy, right? Except of this one, for example, here. Buy and sell tax, 100%. <laughs> Never buy this one. Um, you can see also the taxes here. Buy tax, one sell tax hundred. That's a honeypot. You will never get your money out. But of course, we want to look for coins which have, um, which are true and valuable, right? Next one. You see the same pattern, right? You see the same pattern. We're gonna check it right away on Token Sniffer, and um, I guess the uh, the answer should be pretty easy. Yeah. Um, exploit number zero nine six. Blah blah blah. Don't buy this fucking coin. Next one. Roost. Hope we get hope we can catch some real coin, you know. <laughs> Do you think it's a good one or not? <laughs> I mean we can check it. They have a Twitter page even, but we have to check it on Token Sniffer. Uh, this is classic um you can buy but you cannot sell coin. Hit hidden mint functionality. So you see, maybe you would bought all these coins because they feel like this thing is going up. Lucky Tommy make this video, guys. I have to close some some windows. Um, I don't know. Let's scroll down. What we have here? Brax. Okay. 840k market cap. Maybe we find a real one here. By the way, this one I bought. So it might be a real one. Um, yeah, we have Brax here. We have a logo, which is good. We have socials update. Yeah, but what, what we're going to do, first of all, again, we go to Token Sniffer. We have to do this because it's so important. Okay. Brax. Oh, 100 of 100. That looks beautiful. But when you have this first, that you see the 100 of 100, it doesn't mean that it's a safe play. Of course, you have to find the right spot to trade. But what I'm going to do then, of course, is go to Dex Screener and check if they have the socials updated, maybe. They do have website, Twitter, Telegram. So we're going to check the Twitter page. Brax, we have, by the way, a dinosaur season. There was a coin, I think, going to 14 million on solana which is a small little dinosaur so it might also happen with base there's the blue it makes sense a lot right um let me go to the website that's cute and funny that's cute and funny uh and he's hungry <laughs> i like it i like it it's good telegram group we don't need to check volume is stable we check how is this here that's really important for me i look at this always 84 rockets can take it away by the way no we cannot and 10 um red flags that's solid that's really um a classic um, from a coin which is legit you have like 80 percent plus and then some people who say no that's bullshit or whatever right so this is basically the first legit coin we saw today here on base which is a good narrative so this might be definitely worth to trade and of course, then it's the question when you're going to enter. Classic thing here with trading is, uh, by the way, you can see also the top 200 holders, which is nice. You see here, the amount they hold, liquidity pool, deployers wallet, some big wallets, the amount they hold, the value they have. Beautiful. I like it. I like it. So many nice tools. And then, of course, you have, um, here's also data and security. And you can see here, 000 holders, 483, more information, burned, um which i think is really nice and then you have the uh, possibility to buy here classic your settings slippage the same thing like with photon on solana but you see that it needs a lot of research to find the right pick on uh on solana maybe we find another one here which is legit here neuralink um initial liquidity to 1.4 million maybe it's a legit one let's see Ah, 
I don't I don't have a good feeling with this one. Let's let's ask our friend the token sniffer. It's hard, you see, right? There's so much projects, but there's most likely always, always scam. But what is good in this? If you see it like this, um, I mean, we checked like five projects from the last five hours. So you don't need to make much research. The ones you find, you invest two, three minutes to every coin. Basically, token sniffer first, then check deck screener, then check, um, yeah, how's your feeling website, Twitter page, and so on. You have some other people talking about this. Um, by the way, token sniffer is not 100% sure. So if you feel something wrong, you shouldn't buy, by the way. Um, but you see there's not much action going on in coin creation. That means if people want to buy something, you see basically everything was a scam. So what they're going to do, they have to buy the, the Brax, Brax dinosaur, right? Because there's nothing, there's no real coin here. I mean, the based gang, maybe that's a legit one. We're going to check it. Let's click again. Be careful, this token has a sole low sell limit of 0 0.91. And it looks like it's rocked. So, yeah, I mean... You have not much coins actually performing well. So what will happen is all the money goes into this one coin, like Brex, which is the only one in the last five hours, which seems to be legit. So we have a Donald. Let's check the Donald. Yeah, they look also scammy here with this heartbeat pattern to the upside. That's it's a scam pattern, right? Look at the chart and I tell you it's a scam. I think they're creating all these scams and make it look like it's a legit one. They have small fees so they can create the volume and people will buy it because they have no idea. That's why I warn you. It's not like Solana when they are where their most coins are tradable and there are no scams you're buying. Um, anyway, the big plus point here is if there is so many scams and only a few good coins, you see there's not much coins created in the, in the past five hours, not like Solana. Um, all the money will go into one or two coins, which have the result that they have to pump, right? I mean, I can see no reason why this thing shouldn't go to 5 million market cap. It's sitting now at 900k. I mean, I don't know if this project is good or we, we saw, um, check this here, top 200. We saw the, the deployer has 2.4% and we have some big wallets here with over 1%, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, might be some sniping wallets. We don't know this. They might dump, but uh, the volume is good. The money flows in. It's a legit coin. You can sell this one. And um, yeah, I think that makes projects on base pretty easy to trade because these few projects which are legit, the money flows in, the price chart will go up. And the other ones, this just rocks, you know, but you have to identify them. That's, that's your mission. You have to identify the rocks. Otherwise... They will scam you, scam you and take your money. Uh, we don't want this, right? Like you can see here that the fee is 0 0.24 is super cheap, super cheap. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, I think I give you a lot of content, a lot of information which was needed because I feel a lot of people want to join to base. And before you go there, you have to be careful. You have to be really careful. This is this is a really wild west, but I think it's a relaxing one. I'm I'm I, I will try out check out some projects here, what's going on here. Um, maybe you can catch some interesting ones, some new coins. Um, because it's slowly, it's not so aggressive like on Solana where the price pumps like 5 million in just one hour and then you just fucking too late. Um, I don't know, seems more relaxed compared to Solana. We don't know. Um, let's see how this thing plays out. Um, but there's definitely a reason why a lot of people moving here to small fees. The normies want to join they can use their coinbase wallet and so on you know it's just normie friendly this is what people need no DeFi wallet needed i mean of course if you trade on third and you need this but basically you're able to trade on coinbase so i think in the future this will be implemented that you can from your coinbase app trade all these all these meme coins and that's what you want you want the normies in without seed phrases or bullshit, right um i guess that's the future thank you very much tommy.crypto wish you beautiful what do we have wednesday um Diamond hands here from Germany. <laughs> Be careful when you trade. Always, uh, yeah. If you're unsure, don't do it. If you're unsure, don't do it. Tr wait, check twice, check three times, and then you're right. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Goodbye.